Welcome to the 78th Annual Cold Spring Harbor Symposium on Quantitative Biology. This year, the topic is Immunity and Tolerance. I'm Lori Dempsey, Senior Editor at Nature Immunology, and with me is Dr. Tada Tadaguchi. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, professor at the uh, University of Tokyo. Yes. And I'm pleased to say that you, I can mention that you've also been honored uh, by the Japanese government as a person of cultural merit. Thank you very much. Well, welcome. So uh, you, uh, your research has focused for many years. In fact, you've been a discoverer of many of what we call the, the type 1 interferons. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also some of the uh, 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 transcription factors that actually are influenced by mm -hmm. the action of type 1 interferons. Yes. Can, you, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, uh, yes. some of these? Uh, well, yes. Both? Thank you. Yes. I was uh, interested when I was a PhD student. In, in Zurich, <laughs> yeah, and uh, that uh, the, uh, the, the professor Peter Ringier, mm -hmm. then at the Yale University, gave and came and gave a seminar, mm -hmm. and uh, what impressed me uh, was that the virus infection in mammalian cells uh, result in production of type one interferons, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, this is something very very fascinating. Uh, for me, we was uh, when I was working since I was working on bacterial phage mm -hmm, at mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. time, so I wanted to continue this kind of uh, to start working on this interesting uh, system, mm -hmm. and particularly focusing on how type one interferon gene gets turned on okay. uh, upon virus infection. So upon return to Tokyo, uh, I was given a rather fortunately given a chance to work independently. Mm -hmm. Uh, I could work on type 1 interferon, particularly on the interferon beta, mm -hmm. and uh, then clone the gene, and, uh, and afterwards promoter regions as well. And uh, together with my colleagues, uh, we have identified uh, a new family of transcription factor called interferon regulatory factors, mm -hmm. IRFs. And uh, since then, we've been working uh, on this uh, transcription factor in the context of type 1 interferons and other immune responses as well. Mm -hmm. and, and also in addition, I would say, in on the regulation of oncogenesis. Okay. And uh, the, the versatile function of <coughs> IRS have been very much in investigated nowadays mm -hmm. by many investigators. Mm -hmm. sure, sure. And uh, just uh, briefly mentioning about type 1 interferon gene uh, switching on. Uh, which I was interested when I was uh, right, uh, well, the initiating this work. Mm -hmm. uh, the IRS-3 and IRS-7 turned out to be particularly mm -hmm. important to turn on these genes, and uh, whereas other IRFs participate in the induction of other cytokine genes mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. many genes. And uh, so uh, we've been working on these IRFs, but we've been also working nowadays on a different aspect of immune responses as well. Right, right, yes. right. <coughs> so it's uh, a very uh, hot area right now in immunology to study some of these uh, uh, innate uh, uh, pathogen receptors, the uh, uh, nucleic acid uh, uh, sensors, and, and they activate the, these mm -hmm. uh, IRFs, correct? Yes. It has been a hot subject. And particularly after the, the discovery of these innate receptors, mm -hmm. signal transducing innate receptors right. by Ruslan, mm -hmm. uh, Mitchtok, and then Charles Genaway, and, and, and others. Right. And that uh, this field expanded, and IRS uh, uh, transcription factors were put in, 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 in new context. That right, is right. to say that it functioned downstream of those pathogen recognition receptors. So the entire story is more or less uh, being uh, clarified, so yet we still have to know much about this system. Uh, so th the initial excitement, of course, uh, is still going on, mm -hmm. but we should uh, perhaps aim at new direction in, right. in, in, in immunology. Right, yes. right, right, right. So are these uh, responses also important in, in uh, human disease that you were alluding to earlier, uh, cancer, but also some of these uh, chronic yes. inflammatory states? Uh, well, in, in it's important in many different, in, in, in different aspects, perhaps in, in, in cancer uh, uh, and the field. Mm. And first of all, some of the IRS functions are the tumor suppressor, mm -hmm. whereas others is uh, factors such as IR4 is oncogenic. Oh, okay. And, okay, uh, and uh, so uh, this IRFs do regulate 
the, mm. the process of oncogenesis, either positively or negatively. And in addition, uh, I would say that uh, the, some of the IRFs are participating in inflammatory responses oh, and, uh, and, and also differentiation of, uh, of some uh, immune cells, right. as we have heard this morning. Right. And uh, so IRS are likely to participate in indirect way for the tumor immunosurveillance, I would say. Okay. And uh, so that's uh, perhaps an interesting avenue of research in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what are some of your, your interests uh, for the, the future that uh, you're yes. involved actually uh, in, in quite a few things, I believe? Uh -huh. yes. yes. Uh, so we are interested in in of course we are we have continued interest in innate immunity mm -hmm. particularly in the context of the inflammation and associated diseases and uh, so in this regard we have been recently working on some of the inflammatory molecules uh, typically hmgb1 which we mm -hmm. i have talked today yes. and in addition there are many so-called self-derived se uh, molecules, mm, mm. which also regulates in, Im in immune responses by one way or the other. Okay. HMGB1 is one example, but uh, we now start uh, seeing some other molecules mm. yet to be fully characterized, which modulates immune responses when they are released outside uh, by cell death, for example. Right, right. So and the so-called sterile inflammation or uh, uh, kind of things. Yeah. Yes. So those molecules might be interesting mm -hmm. in understanding of, of the mechanism underlying variety of disease developments, not only that uh, in, 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 in a pathogen, in, in infection by pathogens mm -hmm. uh, cause disease, but uh, aberrant expression of those cell, uh, molecules by our, our cells mm -hmm. uh, could contribute uh, yeah. by one way or the other, right. uh, the, 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 uh, some if not all of the, of the, of the immune immune diseases, yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. So that will be an interesting avenue of research. Yes. yes. Right. And you're also very much interested in uh, facilitating knowledge and, and uh, uh, recruiting uh, young investigators uh, to be able to, to uh, more or less step up, mm -hmm. have the opportunities to, to be able to yeah. uh, uh, become a, a scientist and, and uh, uh, be able to continue on uh, a, a legacy of, of, of research. Right. Well, uh, in I'm I feel I still feel I'm young, but uh, on the other hand, I having reached a certain stage, yes, yes. I do realize that what gives me a pleasure in doing science nowadays mm. is to spawn mm. uh, uh, good colleagues and scientists, mm. yes. independent. Yes. from my lab and from other labs as well. Yes. And yes. that gives me more pleasure, perhaps, yes. uh, than, 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 what can I say, um, than getting some award, for example, yes. 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 say. Yes. And uh, in when I was young, I had to work to keep my family. Yes. But now I still have to keep my family. But <laughs> uh, nevertheless, I think uh, the, the big pleasure I, I appreciate nowadays is that the students grow and yes. they become independent and then promoted some of them as full professor of University of Tokyo yes, yes, yes. and then so on. So I'm very, very proud and happy about that uh, yes. my former colleagues superated me in, yes. in, in science. Yes. And this is uh, what perhaps uh, sci many scientists feel the great pleasure that yes, uh, yes. Your, your, your students or your colleagues are separating you. So you're, you're a successful scientist as well as a successful mentor. Uh, I'm not sure, but I hope so. I try to do my best in this uh, uh, for this. And yet, I must say that uh, overall, in, in, in Japan, young scientists, uh, people, students, are not very much interested in basic science nowadays. Mm -hmm. And uh, another uh, concern is that the uh, number of students going abroad for study mm. is decreasing rather roma dramatically. In the past 10 years, it decreased more than 50 percent. And is, yeah? uh, it's difficult to give clear answer for this question. Mm -hmm. It's very complicated because mm -hmm. it's perhaps related to the entire society, the activity. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy mm -hmm. uh, to analyze this, 
But uh, nevertheless, this is another concern because, uh, after all, the, the, the going abroad and uh, st and and then 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 you know learn different cultures and communicate with your colleagues. This mm -hmm. is very very important asset mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. if for for, for, for someone here. to study yeah. science, as you yeah. see here yes. exactly. And uh, so that's one thing. Another mm -hmm. thing is that you know people we start we have to keep spawning new wisdom mm -hmm. uh, to support our society. We right, have to right. our we s we have a lot of problems to solve, but only by spawning new wisdom and, 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 and knowledge that we can create a new world or you know right. make more peaceful world and so on. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, so uh, it's a. Uh, a uh, little bit concerning when if young people are not very much interested in, in, in basic research, mm -hmm. be it sci uh, natural science or social science or right, other right. field. You can't make money out of this very much, but maybe right, that's part of the reason. <laughs> but as we see, that the intellectually challenging ideas of education, yeah, yeah, yeah. other rewards than that's just right. uh, monetary yes. rewards. So, the, so in this context, a meeting yeah. like this yes. uh, with young scientists and that would be a providing, must be providing a very good opportunity. Yes. And uh, so it's a rather global issue, mm. uh, what we are talking about is. But also uh, concerning uh, Japan, situation in Japan, mm -hmm. and I think uh, the big challenge for Japan and Japanese universities in particular mm. is how to globalize further mm, mm. in order to meet with a global standard yes, yes and okay. uh, it's not i'm not saying that the japanese universities levels are low yes. they have done reasonably well in my view yes, yes. but on the other hand there are a lot of things to be improved mm. in japanese universities particularly in terms of globalization okay yeah okay. well thank you very much you're very welcome it was a pleasure to see you and thank meet you. with you in situ finally yes. <laughs> thank you thank you Thank you. What did you